Hey everybody, we're gonna take a quick look today at using the modifier to take incoming MIDI data and map it across other parameters. Now we've looked at something like this similar before, but this is just a, a different application that I was thinking of today. And it led to kind of a, a strange place inside my head. And I just wanna show you all of it real quick. So first and foremost, I have an arpeggiator and that arpeggiator is coming through this and it's taking the note number and reassigning it to the channel EQ peak four frequency right here. It's also going through out to the instrument. In this case, the instrument is this uh, retro synth. So this is what it sounds like right now. So if I turn off the equalizer, this is what that actual chord would sound like. So this is essentially putting a filter on which is attached to the keyboard and it would go up as you play higher and lower as you play lower, but it's a little bit more in depth. We have more control, we can actually see it we can scale it now. So for instance, I could do an addition here. Here, let me just do another chord. And so that's how we can actually add that type of effect. Now I just set the input note number. That's one of the defaults. When I did this one, I learned plug and parameter and chose or just selected that frequency on the EQ. And it pretty much worked from right from that moment. So what I wanted to know is if I could really easily use this effect in other places. And that's when I figured out that you can actually do this interesting thing with a second arpeggiator. Let's turn it on, hit latch. We have the first one, which we don't even need on right now. We'll just use the second one. And so what I'm gonna do is play a chord And what I did was I turned off the through port after that second arpeggiator was already latched, turned off the through port, and then the first one then still is controlling the equalizer. And I don't even need the arpeggiator at this point. I could literally just be using my keyboard and moving this around. Obviously wouldn't handle polyphony. That's where an arpeggiator like this comes perfectly in because it can move around and do different notes. But you can see that there's definitely some interesting things we can do now when we turn off the through part halfway through and we just let that second arpeggiator continue on with the pattern. Okay, so two arpeggiators doing separate things, all separated by this through button being turned off, creates kind of a complex thing which isn't very practical. But if you're doing a, a mix or a production, the through can actually be automated. And so we could, if we wanted to, have that come on and off whenever we wanted to in the mix itself. So just a cool idea, a cool way to integrate some of this stuff into a song you might be working on. Otherwise, hope this was kind of interesting. It's a little bit more of a niche thing, but I definitely think there's some power in using the modifier and changing what some of our input data is doing and sharing it in other places.